channel. I hope you're all having a really, really great day. Today I'm going to be doing another part of my decluttering series and because liquid lipsticks have a different definition, I'm going to be incorporating stains and creams things that are pretending to be lipsticks in a liquid formula. Whether they're called a liquid lipstick doesn't mean that much to me. I'm basically pulling in things that I would refer to as a liquid lipstick. Let's get right into this. So I wrote a very detailed blog post about the new Tarte lip paints. There are a crap ton of them. They kindly sent all of these to me, so I have all of the naughty nudes, and then I have a couple different colors as well. I have some of the glossy ones, and then the matte ones as well. So I'm gonna swatch all of these for you, but I have to say that the matte formulation of these is absolutely magnificent. When you apply this, it feels like you're applying a cloud onto your lips. Normally when I apply a liquid lipstick, it is very drying and it is very uncomfortable and it feels thick like it feels like your lips are being caked on with something very uncomfortable this just honestly feels like you're applying a cloud and it's so light you don't even feel that you have any lipstick on your lips at all it doesn't dry your lips midday and you feel like you just ran seven miles through the desert it just works really well very long lasting love these Okay, so the next two are the Revlon Ultra HD Lip Colors. They look like this, and they're both different shades of pink. I have a lighter pink and then a little bit deeper, brighter pink. These are extremely long-lasting and probably my favorite drugstore liquid lip, and I feel like Revlon really did this very, very well. These, kind of similar to the Tarte ones I just mentioned, they don't feel as uncomfortable on the lips as most liquid lipsticks do. These last a really long time, like through oily salads or just really any type of food. And I just really have to say I love the colors, I love the way this looks, and the applicator always makes a big difference for me when it comes to liquid lipsticks. And this applicator is nice, thin, very precise, lets you work your magic on your lips very easily, and it doesn't dry too fast that you can't undo a mistake. So these I would highly recommend, and you can obviously pick them up at a CVS, Walgreens, whatever. These are the shit. So I have two of the lip and cheek stains from the body shop. These are definitely stains, but they don't last very long. I have applied these on my lips and they are just off your lips within a matter of an hour, two hours. The applicator, really nice, really thin, but it just does not work very well on the lips. I think if you're looking for something very light, very natural, maybe for a pool day or you just kind of want to throw something on your lips for a little while, this would be a go-to. This would not be a liquid lipstick video without the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. These are so incredible. There's just something intoxicating about this line of lipsticks that is just so amazing. They're very dry, they feel dry, but they look incredible. They don't actually cake on your lips. They don't feel overly thick. I mean, these are so good. These are always a good go-to if I'm traveling and I need something that I can rely on. I love taking one of these with me. These are just incredible liquid lipsticks. I can't recommend these enough and I am not getting rid of any of them. I have two of these liquid lipsticks from Makeup by Yvonne and I just do not gravitate to these. They're not long lasting and I'm not really a big fan of these two colors. I feel like the color payoff is a little bit weak for me and I just don't care for the fact that they're not long lasting. So I will be getting rid of these as well. Okay, so this was my favorite liquid lipstick formula for the longest time. They are still one of my favorites. These are the Sephora Cream Lip Stains. Very, very good formula. The one thing I've always said about these is that you have to be quick and you have to be precise. These dry so quickly. Like, snap your fingers and they're dry on your lips. So now for the formula that got the number one spot, beat out that Sephora Cream Lip Stain. I have the BHUE Beauty Liquid Lipsticks. You've never heard of this brand, I'm sure, but I got this package sent to me a couple of months ago and I have been non-stop using these colors. My favorite, as you already know, is the Dusty Rose 
such a beautiful color. It's right here in the middle in my right hand. I just cannot tell you enough good things about this. This is so long lasting and it feels pretty comfortable on the lips. It's a bit drying, but there's something just about it that kind of sticks more to the lips and I'm not getting rid of any of these. I just can't, I will not get rid of any of them. So I have lip lacquers from Pure Cosmetics. I did a dedicated video to these quite some time ago when they first were sent to me. And I have to say that in comparison to the liquid lipstick formula that I like, these are the complete opposite. These are very watery, they're very, very liquidy, they're not so matte, they come off on everything, it doesn't matter how long you wear these, they never fully just dry. So I'm going to be getting rid of these as well because there's just no reason for me to keep all of these in my collection if I'm never gonna use them. I have two lip creams from NYX Cosmetics. Surprisingly, I only have two. I know usually people have like 50 of these and I'm like, I don't know why you need that many. It's a bit drying, it's very thick, and I'm not entirely sure I like the color payoff. When I apply the first coat, there's always white spots when it's on my lips. It's just not really my favorite, and if I'm not going to be reaching for it, I just need to get rid of it. Oh, you know, the Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks. These bad boys are so beautiful. The packaging is just unlike any other brand's packaging, this beautiful gold detailing, the silver lids, I mean, these are just so beautiful inside and out. So I will say that these three right here, I bought as soon as they came out. So this is while they were still trying to figure out their formulation. So these are not my favorite formulas. They reformulated a second time and they created this one, this is Kraft. This was super popular fall, winter, last year and the year before, I think. So I love this formulation. The color payoff is incredible. I have Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. These three are just staying with me. They're not going anywhere. I recently got two of them. I've always had Bachelorette, but I just got these two and I just love the formulation. I'm wearing Bachelorette on my lips right now. It's one of my all-time favorite colors, like top three. This is definitely in my top three Bachelorette. It's just so beautiful, so bright, and these are very long-lasting. I think these would probably beat out most of these other ones. These may be the most long-lasting, to be quite honest with you. In comparison to the Sephora Cream Lip Stains and then the Tarte Lip Paints, I think these could possibly be number one in long-lasting and durability and they don't cake off or flake off or nothing happens to them. They just stick to your lips and I've actually had a hard time taking off Bachelorette at night, but I am not getting rid of these. They're amazing. You need them in your life. Go to Sephora now. Okay, and then I have a couple of one-offs. I have one of the MAC liquid lip colors. This is To Matte With Love. It's really pretty. My usual bright pink color, you know how it goes. This is very long lasting, not overly drying like some of the matte lipsticks can be. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I think it's a really good formula. I just don't reach for it very often because I have so many others to reach for, but I'm gonna keep this and keep playing with it and keep enjoying it because it is really a good formula. Stila liquid lipstick. This is the most popular shade that was talked about about a year ago, I think. Um, Petuna, Patina, who knows? This is a really nice, brownie pinky color and it actually works perfectly on my lips because my lips are pretty much this color except this has a little bit more brown and my lips have more pink. The applicator is a little bit hard to work with, I'm not gonna lie. Like the Pure Cosmetics lip lacquer I was telling you about, very liquidy and very watery, but what I like about this is that it will dry and it stays but it's very liquidy upon application, so be very careful when you're using this because it could get everywhere. I have a Bourjois Matte Velvet Lip. This was sent to me by one of my loveliest subscribers from the UK. Um, this is a shade Hot Pepper. It's a very good formulation. I like it. You have to apply several coats of it in order to get the full coverage, in order to get all the white spots covered in your lips but I definitely think this is a good one. I mean, it's long lasting, it's not overly drying, and this color is just beautiful. I have this Wonder lip paint. I'm not even sure where this came from. I think this definitely came from a Birchbox or an, an Ipsy box, something like that. 
I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't like how this applies. You have to use a tool or your finger, which both are annoying. I want the applicator to be part of the product. I don't need to have another tool to apply their product. That, I find that very annoying. Also, this is a very thin, watery formula. Again, you've noticed I'm not really the biggest fan of those watery, overly liquidy formulas. It's just very messy, it's hard to work with, so I'm gonna be passing on this. So this is the same brand as the last one. It's called JCAP Beauty. This one though is a lip stain and it actually has its own DOFA applicator, so much better. I don't really reach for this very often, but I love this color. I know the few times I have used this, I've loved the color. It's not as long lasting as some of my other options, but it's just beautiful and I think I'm gonna keep this and keep playing around with it. Last but not least, I have Provocalypse from Rimmel. This is a double-sided wand, so what you do is you apply this beautiful pink shade first, and then you have this gloss that's gonna make it very glossy and very shiny and basically seal the lip color in. They say this is supposed to last 16 hours. I do find it's very, very long-lasting. Not overly drying. I'm gonna keep this um, and keep trying to use it, but you can kind of tell this is obviously my color because I buy every product in the same color. I really need to expand my horizons, so I'm not buying the same pink in every single brand. I'm not gonna get rid of it, so yeah. So I feel like this turned into more of a liquid lipstick collection video rather than a decluttering video because I'm keeping most things. So let's count this out. Okay, so I said I was getting rid of the body shop. I'm gonna get rid of the makeup by Yvonne. I'm gonna get rid of that lip paint. I'm gonna get rid of the NYX. All the pure cosmetics. All of these Anastasia ones. This is the original formula and it was not the greatest. I'm getting rid of the older one of my Sephora cream lip stain in the shade Always Red. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so I'm getting rid of 16 liquid lipsticks. That's actually a crap ton. Woo! I'm going to be keeping 36 liquid lipsticks, so not even close to half and half. If you guys have recommendations for me, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a big ol' thumbs up if you liked it. I know you guys love this decluttering series. I do too. It's helping me make more room for more things. If you guys are not already subscribed to this channel, please, please, please hit that subscribe button right down there. I would love to have you back for my next round of decluttering. I'd love to have you back for my next video. Just hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. If that is the case, I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Hey.